Hey everybody, welcome to the DBS Films Podcast. It's just me and you, so that means it is a DBS production update. Today is May 6th, and we have one more day left after this for our auditions to open. They will close at 11.59 p.m., which means as soon as it turns May 8th, it is over. And I am very, very excited. We have a newest production, which is the Bigfoot Project. Coolest thing about this, guys, is our Discord community is so alive and active when it comes to these audition processes. I really cannot wait until we make a movie every single month because that means every single month we'll have an audition process, which means every single month we'll have an opportunity to showcase your amazing acting talent, which means every single month will be super, super fun. It's really, really busy right now, especially since it is not full-time for us. But that being said, we absolutely love it. And this is why we make movies for our fans with our fans. So best of luck to everyone out there. Um, you know, again, you do still have some time for it. Most likely what's going to happen is I'm probably going to be around Wednesday or th Thursday. I'll be reaching out for callbacks. So I'm probably going to need like a 72-hour process. I have been watching a lot of auditions as they're coming in. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has been submitting your auditions early. That helps me out a ton. If you are a super fan status by the end of the day on Sunday, you will go ahead and get yourself direct feedback from me, basically saying, hey, this is what I thought about your audition. This is what I would recommend. So that is something to be a benefit. And as always, if you are a DBS legend, you will go ahead and get an automatic callback when it comes to going through the role. This is really designed to be one, an uh, additional you know, callback level audition for you. And on top of that, really give you the direct feedback coming right from the studio itself and myself. So really, really excited for that process to happen. Um, other things that are going on, you know, one of the big ones, as I think you guys have been seeing, is I have something in the works. I got something special coming up here. I got something that I think could be a little bit of a breakthrough. And, you know, every once in a while, I have a good idea. I kind of laser focus in on it. I think this will probably be the last time you see me with this setup if you're watching on youtube so something's coming it has to do with streaming so i mean that's kind of the spoiler you've seen me been like hey how does this work can someone go to twitch and see if they hear me how's this so i'm i'm testing things out but i would say in about two weeks we're going to unveil something pretty cool and i think it's going to really change the game with dbs i could be completely wrong but you know what i always love trying and you never know you can try and be wrong and be wrong and be wrong and be wrong and be wrong. And then you're right. And all of those wrongs just do not matter. So we got something cool coming up with that. I'm going to continue to float that out. It'll probably be like the main topic of next week's podcast. But let's hop into where we are at, my friends. Right now, Forest of Death is moving up the ladder a little bit. It's about 24th. Now, again, I know I've kind of hyped it up from the beginning. I was like, let's get 16 or let's get up here. We got no control over that algorithm and more importantly no control of what movies are up against it so by no means is it like actually saying like oh this is a better launch or worse launch we have absolutely no clue because amazon has not given us the data yet data looks good from what sources we have but until we get the final amazon figures which basically is like 95 percent of the bulk of the information we need to see how successful this movie is doing we have no clue which is why we did have a smaller scale on bigfoot we had some good numbers coming into it. We easily would have cast 10 or 20 people. Now we're kind of casting 10 people. But don't you worry, my friends. We still have The Girl in Cabin 14 and The Haunting of the Murder House 3.0, which are our next two movies. Basically taking those lovely, lovely ideas of ours and making them found footage is the name of the game. And those will be opportunities for us to scale up. So do not worry. We are still on the grind when it comes to that. But for us to death... Huge shout out to everyone who was a launch team participant of that. That means the world to us. You guys are forever, ever, ever, ever established as OG homies. And the fact that as we get bigger and better, you will be rewarded for what you did because we needed it the most. So huge shout out there. Into the Forest 2.0. You guys have already seen Into the Forest 2.0 if you're a super fan. If you haven't seen it and you're a super fan, go ahead and take a look in the super fan section of the Discord. Into the Forest 2. That's going to have the link to the Vimeo. You can take a look at it. You can give us feedback. You can watch it. You can do all of those fun things because it means the world to us and it allows us to make the final little bit of touches and improvements before we shift that bad boy off to dash distribution. We're expecting a June at the earliest, most likely not. July release is most likely what's going to happen. From there, we will be skedaddling to the Roger Project. And we've kind of talked about this before, but the Roger Project really is like a stew of items. You know, one, it's got stew in it, which is always great. But it's also something where there's just like a lot of ingredients that are good, a lot of scenes that are good. But like, man, it's not as structured as Into the Forest. And overall, 
Uh, it's hard for me to make my decision. I love Into the Forest 2.0. I will praise it. I know, Ben, you are listening to this right now, and it's something where it's still hard to see what that finishing taste is going to be like. Like Into the Forest 2.0 was so much better than Forest of Death, in my opinion, that it was easy for me to make that. The problem isn't that the Roger Project isn't a good movie. It's that Into the Forest was so good, it's hard for me to make those final touches. That being said... Roger Project blows Force of Death out of the water. I'll go ahead and say that. And I love Force of Death, best movie we got right now. So credit where credit is due. And people are loving Roger. So congratulations, Ben. I think you're going to see yourself playing that role maybe one, two, ten more times or something like that. So those are the good news. And then on top of that, you know, the last thing is really these Bigfoot auditions. We got the mask. The mask is in. Um, it looks good. He's kind of doing a weird smile the whole time, but I'm sure it'll be spooky. Um we haven't named them yet. We should probably do a, a poll in the Discord of what we want to name the Bigfoot. So if you have an idea of what you want to name the Bigfoot, go ahead and comment on YouTube and we'll add that to the mix. Um, I mean, that's where we get Mo, Carl, and Frank. The whole reason we named all of them is because if you're like, hey, where's the demon mask at? That's not as cool as put Frank on. Where's Frank at? Where's Carl at? Where's Helen at? So that's why they get the names. Um, and, you know, our, our big hairy buddy, he needs a name. So... If you have any ideas, go ahead, comment that. But that's pretty much it, guys. Again, thank you so much for supporting us. It means the world to us because you are making our dream come true, which means we have to go ahead, turn around and make your dreams come true once we get bigger and better, and we will. Only a matter of time. So appreciate all the support. Be sure to go ahead and take a look at our Discord channel online. We make movies for our fans with our fans. So if you join our Discord, you can be part of the action, part of the fun. And be sure to take a look at The Force of Death. If you rent it and review it, it means the world to us. But until then, have a great one, guys.